uh, skull and comet uh, discovered. Uh, we in Europe uh, have been successfully working on sending a probe to a comet. It just started its journey in 2005, arrived at the comet in 2015. Then uh, when it gets close to the comet nucleus, it actually did something extraordinary. And that was to release a smaller probe called Philia. And Philia was sent to land on the comet. We were lucky to have this footage of this uh, landing process. Gradually approaching the comet from a long distance, we were able to observe it through the, through the mothership, Rosetta it was called, and uh, film it. The video is, you, you see some of them animation, some of them are real. So the lander landed on the comet. It bounced once, then it l landed in a corner, which was shadow, unlike this uh, animation. It was not able actually to make more than a few pictures because it wasn't a shadow, the battery was drained. But what was interesting is that we have now discovered that when it landed on the comet, it left a mark. And we have looked back at that mark and we can see something is strange there. That is strange thing is really, really important for us to now to discuss. And that is something which resembles a face of a skull with a hat. It can, can be scary. It can be imagination gone in wild. But uh, this is what is we have found. It resembles a skull. It's something is strange. We have never seen something similar to this on any planetary body. What we have found interesting about this uh, skull-shaped uh, feature on the comet is that it actually, uh, we can see the inside of it, it broke by the impact. And what is inside is practically snow. And its consistency, its strength, is uh, the same as a uh, fluffy snow on the Earth. That's very interesting. The dust particles on the top of it makes it look ro hard rock, but it's not. It's just fluffy snow. And it broke easily.